William V. Williams, MD, is a rheumatology specialist in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, with over 40 years of experience in the medical field, and has worked for over 30 years in drug discovery and development. He is a graduate of Tufts University School of Medicine and practiced at the University of Pennsylvania. Dr. Williams is currently president and CEO of Briacell Therapeutics Corporation. Hi, this is Dr. Bill Williams again, and I'm talking today about the effects of hormonally active contraceptives on weight gain and prediabetes. Now, it's a very common complaint in women who are uh, taking oral contraceptives or implants or different types of contraceptives, hormonally active contraceptives, that they develop weight gain. And this can be a big problem. Now, there have been large studies done on this topic, and they haven't all concluded that this is cause and effect but for combined oral contraceptives. But for the progesterone-only contraceptives, the evidence is actually fairly strong. Uh, and these are things like uh, Depo-Provera, uh, the implants, uh, and some other progesterone-only contraceptives. The evidence is fairly strong that there is an increase in weight of approximately four and a half pounds over the first year and about 10 pounds over five years. Now, this is clearly an issue, but what's more concerning is that it's the wrong kind of weight. What you see is an increase in adipose tissue, in other words, fat tissue, and a decrease in lean body mass, in other words, muscle and bone and those kinds of things. You'd like to see lean body mass go up and adipose tissue go down, but here we're seeing the exact opposite uh, effect of what we would like to see. And for a progesterone-only contraceptives, this is a big problem. And there's also data that indicates that any type of hormonal contraceptive can increase the risk of prediabetes, so-called metabolic syndrome. And this is where your body becomes less sensitive to the effects of insulin. And this is caused typically by being overweight, but also leads to several negative metabolic consequences, such as uh, bad lipid profiles in your blood, which can then lead to atherosclerosis, which is the deposition of fat and uh, things like that into the walls of your blood vessels, making them smaller, constricted. And then that can lead to heart attacks and strokes and other negative consequences. So again, negative metabolic consequences from all hormonal contraceptives, but especially the progesterone only ones. This should be acknowledged by drug makers and should also be taken into account when anyone considers going on these agents, especially when there are good drug-free alternatives to prevent pregnancy, such as natural family planning and fertility awareness-based methods. This is Dr. Bill Williams, and thank you for listening. <music>